All six Republican presidential candidates are campaigning with a vengeance today in South Carolina, only hours after New Hampshire voters uh, gave Mitt Romney his second win of 2012. Ron Paul heads uh, south with added momentum from a second place finish last night in New Hampshire. He's warning that he's dangerous to the status quo and to Romney's chances of winning the presidential nomination. But South Carolina is a very different battleground. Our senior congressional correspondent, Dana Bash, is covering Ron Paul's campaign for us. Uh, he was impressive in his second place finish, uh, Dana, last night. What's happening today? Well, you said that they're very different battlegrounds. There's no question here in New Hampshire, this is very different political terrain than South Carolina, where Ron Paul was today. But look, after decades of trying to sell his message without a lot of buyers, he was clearly energized by his big showing here last night. Thank you. Thank you very much. For Ron Paul, New Hampshire's silver medal was a big win. We had a victory for something very important in this country. We had a victory for the cause of liberty last night. This quick one-stop trip to South Carolina and attempt so to capitalize. Different. We are not a small minority any longer and we're constantly growing and we are going to have a lot of influence with the future of this country. In an exclusive interview with CNN minutes after learning of his second place New Hampshire showing, Paul suggested it's now a two-man race. Are you now the buffer between Mitt Romney and the rest of the Republican candidates? Mm, I don't know what you want to call it, but I know that we're, we're next, <laughs> next in line to him. So I would say that uh, we're the only ones uh, really in the race with him, and we'll have to remain to be seen what turns up. If this momentum is going to continue, we are going to have to do the work, and it takes a lot of work. I'm a student volunteer. Called Paul aides admit he doesn't have close to the kind of organization in South Carolina that he did in Iowa and New Hampshire. But CNN is told he plans to spend about a million dollars there. TV ads like this one are already running, attacking Newt Gingrich and Rick Santorum. One serial hypocrite exposed. He went the other way when he got paid to go the other way. Now, another has emerged, Rick Santorum. A million dollars is a lot of cash in a state where television time isn't all that expensive. And Paul will, of course, rely heavily on something money can't buy, love intense energy from his ardent supporters, especially young people who travel the country to volunteer for his campaign. In New Hampshire, 76-year-old Paul won 46 percent of the youth vote, far more than any other GOP candidate. His message is consistent, anti-interventionist. What we need to do is say that once again this country should never go to war unless the war is declared, win it and come home. Is and libertarian. The purpose of all political action, from my viewpoint, is the protection of liberty. That's what it should be. Now, Paul's problem is that plays big here in the live for your die state. Voters in South Carolina are traditionally more socially conservative, less li libertarian. But Wolf, Paul is banking on the fact that this election year is anything but traditional. And he was he's making it abundantly clear that he intends to stay in the race for the long haul GOP nominee or not. He wants to take his message and his movement all the way to the Republican convention. Well,